In this video, we'll take a look at a few functions from the runtime module of DW. So one such function is the fail function. So let's try that out. So let's take a use case that this is an array and if this array contains an odd number, it should fail. So let's try that out. So I'll create a function and this function will take in an array let's give this function a name as validate and it takes in an array so i'll give it the name as array of type array and then let's loop through that array so array map use the map function and then value and index are the two placeholders so value will have the value and index will have the index of that element in the array now what i'll do is i'll run through an if else statement if if the value and this has to be evaluated so what value mod 2 if that is not equal to zero if that is not equal to zero will fail so the fail function takes in only one argument which is which is the failure message that you want to print so let's print the number whatever number we get number will be in value right so number value plus plus is not even all right and then in the else condition what we can do is we can simply return the value so there are some compilation errors let me get rid of those this is an extra round brace and okay now the function is ready and this is my input let me just pass this input to the validate function and it should successfully print the array right yeah we are getting the value what if i change the value to one and I can see a few issues found. Let's see what are those. So it says that the number one is not even. So it is the exact message that we passed in the fail function, right? Like the number, then value is not even. So we got the number one is not even. So on similar lines, uh, here we have added if and else conditions. So on similar line, we have a fail if function. It is nothing but the same function the same functionality is inbuilt you don't need to write that so let's try out the fail if function so instead of calling validate what i'll do is i'll again run the map function and map takes value index and then i need not run the, the if else statement instead what i can do is i can just return the value and fail if fail if i have to give a condition like let's copy the same condition okay so it should return value or else uh, it should fail if the condition is met so let's go to the preview and i can see i get an error so it's saying failed right i didn't give any message so that is the reason we are not getting anything if we want we can also give message to this but the structure will change we won't be able to use the chaining mechanism so let's try that out fail if first argument is the value and the second argument is the anonymous function or it is also called as an evaluator and third argument is the message error occurred so we seem to be getting an error let's check this error so what it says is 
okay what i am trying to pass is the function is value evaluator and message but what it actually get it's getting is number evaluator is boolean instead of function and string so let's make this as a lambda which takes in value and then it gives so the error should go away okay fine so the error has gone and we are getting what is the message we are getting the messages error occurred right so this is how you can use the fail if if i change this to six we should get the value right so let's just uh, check out the runtime module it's dw runtime and the fail if function let's see how it is implemented so as you can see it takes in value the value and then it takes in the evaluator evaluator is the function uh, uh, means which has to which, which has the condition and then the error message and ultimately inside there is an if else condition the same that we implemented in the first case using the fail so if evaluator is evaluated to true then it should fail with the message else it should return the value so this thing is being simplified with the fail if so all you have to do is just call the fail if function and give the evaluator that's it so these are two variations of the fail function now if we fail a function we also might want to handle this right we are intentionally failing and we want to handle it so for that reason we can use the try function so let's try out the try to demonstrate the try function i'll just create a very basic function which is a check string which takes in a string argument arg and what it does is if arg equal to equal to if it is valid okay if it is let's make it as invalid if it is invalid then fail invalid else just return the argument okay now let's uh, try using the try function so try function basically takes only one argument which is a lambda or a function we can say and whatever is the response it is a try result so let's call lambda using arg we already have a function so arg and i just need to call the function check string and it takes argument okay so we are getting some error let's check this error what it says is too many parameters expecting zero parameter but got one okay fine sorry but i made a mistake uh, see if you if you see function try try takes in a delegate okay and delegate has no argument so we should not give any argument but instead i gave an argument right so i should not be giving any argument so let's just remove this this is wrong and instead of this argument uh, let me give the string as some random string va and let's uh, just check the output so we get the try result as success true and result is va now what if i give the string as invalid we should get a try result with success as false and the error payload so it gives a kind as user exception message as invalid the message comes from the fail function okay and the location is unknown but it gives you the stack trace so this is how a try function works in case of success it gives you a success object with the result but in case of error it gives you a success as false and the error object now what we can do is we can use this try function in the existing array that we had used right uh, the even and odd array so now let's add the try function so that we can catch the failures so try i'll wrap this in try and then yeah so let's see the preview so i'm getting the output and it is an array and every element 
has been evaluated in the try because I have the try in the map function so all for success the success is true and we get the result but for failure we get success as false and we get the error object so error object has this particular structure now uh, similar to try we have or else try also so let's check that out so if we go to the runtime.dwl we can see the try function and it takes a delegate and returns a try result so it takes only one argument and that we gave right now on the similar lines we have or else try which is an if else variant it's similar to if else if we see inside the implementation we have an if else condition if previous previous meaning the previous try is successful then just return it or else implement the try next try condition so it takes two argument the previous try result and the next lambda that you want to or or the delegate you can say this is a, the delegate which needs to be evaluated and final the output is try result and again we have the final which is or else if the second also doesn't work then this is the final condition it's like the else condition so whatever comes over here has to be executed so it's basically an if else ladder where where or else try is else if and l or else is just an else condition so let's uh, see this how we can implement or else try and or else added the or else try function and the or else function what am i doing in this or else try function is that i am failing if it is not divisible by three and finally if it fails again in this try else try block it is it is handled by or else block so this is one right and one mod three is not equals to zero so it fails again and gives me invalid number which is visible over here and again if i change this to like nine i should get the value so that is how we can use try then or else try and or else so it, it exactly works as if else condition because if you see under the hood there is nothing but an if else condition being present so it's just that a uh, enhanced version of if else in try that is what we can understand now let's take another example and try to manipulate this json with the help of try function so what i want to do is uh, this has header part and the line items part and in this example the line items are not in an array but instead it is an object so what i want to do is i want to make it as an array well there are multiple options to do this but let's try how we can uh, achieve this using the try function so what i've done is i have created a map object function i'm using the map object function running it on the orders variable and if i encountered the key as items i'll make the manipulation otherwise push the key and value pair as is without any modification you can also do it the other way like uh, number colon orders dot number channels but i don't want to make it lengthy because i i'm not sure this could be a huge payload as well so i'm using the map object approach so if in case if it is item we'll modify it otherwise it is returned as it is let's check the preview once yeah we have the preview only item has been changed other things are as is right now let's try to use the function try so what i'll do i'll remove this i'll also remove this item key instead i can use the value of key right away okay and then let's use the try function now so let's pass the delegate to the try function and now i have to give the condition uh, lambda so what I'll do is I, I'll try to run a map on this item because I believe it is an array if it is not then it will throw error right so I, I'll run a map on it so what I can do is uh, I have the value in value right so what I'll do value map 
and then dollar and this should probably throw an exception so i can wrap this in if else condition right so so this particular thing will give me a try result object and the try result has a key called success so if i see i'm getting a success result and error are also there but result is optional depending on how result and error are Dip, uh, occur depending on the condition if it is successful you get result if it fails you get the error block so what i'll do i'll evaluate success if it is successful let's again wrap this if in braces yeah if it is successful do something else do other thing so if it is successful i'm not going to do anything i'll just pass the value as is I don't change it because it's already an array, right? But if it's not successful, I'll wrap it in an array. I'll make it an array. And hopefully this should work. Let's see the preview. Yeah, it is working. If it was when it was not successful, as evident in this case, it returned the items. So this is a very basic example you can do multiple manipulation in this if else block like if you want to add uh, apply some logic you want to run the map function on it and do something you can do that as well but uh, this was just to give you an idea how you can implement try function over here so in this video we learned the basics of try we also learned how to chain the try function or else you can also call it if else condition so chaining of try using or else try and or else and we also learned the fail and fail if uh, function so all are, all of them are part of the runtime dw runtime you can import them so i hope uh, you would have found this video useful Thanks for watching.